All right. Uh, yeah, thanks, everyone. Uh, thanks also for the invitation. Uh, I mean, we're like in close uh, contact with Collabra and working together for quite some time now already. I just wanted to give you a quick overview on uh, what we kind of work on together uh, in Nextcloud Office. Okay, that one. Uh, so maybe, first of all, for those who don't know Nextcloud, uh, it's a content collaboration platform. We offer file sync and share, uh, but also groupware options uh, like uh, calendar, contacts, email. And we also have like a video conferencing solution, Nextcloud Talk. And like Collabra is basically the way how we integrate Office editing into Nextcloud. Uh, so this is uh, just how our user interface looks like. Um, and I'll basically walk you a bit through kind of the integrations that we did with Collabra. Um, so first of all, we work quite heavily on making the branding fit our Nextcloud design language. As you can see, we like did a lot of adjustments in terms of icons so that it like fits nicely uh, into what users might be used to uh, with, with Nextcloud. Um, and apart from that, like the default would be that uh, Collabra is being used for opening Office documents. Um, and for those files, the integration then also provides you with, like with the, the file sidebar that we have right next to the Collabra, uh, Collabra Online. Uh, so you can have your, your file activity in there. Um, there could be like a, a chat for each file, for example, where you can interact with the people that you're working together with. And yeah, basically have access to all the kind of actions or, or metadata you might need uh, in regards to the file. Uh, one other thing is we also have integration with other files so that you can basically insert images, for example, from your existing uh, storage. Then uh, since Collabra has this nice feature of watermarking and uh, options to turn off certain, let's say, permissions on, uh, on documents when opening, we also integrated that into our sharing functionality. So when you decide to share an Office document to a, another user or a group, you can basically decide on what kind of permissions apply. And there we uh, also make use of the, the option to basically disable the download and kind of give away to securely share to other users without them being able to download the file or get access to the, to the, to the raw file itself. Um, yeah, and for that, uh, we also make use of the watermarking feature, of course. Uh, it's kind of, yeah, quite configurable in that way. So you can have like a text with placeholders. Um, you can decide if text should always be shown for shares or for given, given file text, for example, which makes it quite flexible to cover all kinds of, uh, yeah, like security concerns that might be there uh, in, in terms of sharing files. Um, yeah, I mean, you might be familiar with that. So we basically take the text and then also provide ways to insert the, the name of the viewer and the date um, yeah, to make it obvious, like if there is some, some leakage of the file, who, who was like kind of responsible for that. Um, then the next part of integration is uh, our, the, uh, yeah, it's with our um, chat and video conferencing solution, Excel Talk. As you can see, it's like a, a regular chat conversation in here. And what we recently added is that you can write from within the chat or call, just create a new document, spreadsheet, presentation, um, or diagram with withdraw. Um, and then users can basically start immediately to work uh, on their on their document together. And yeah, it's the same for, for like existing files. If the file is, is shared with that conversation, you can basically write within the call, open the file, and then uh, get going. Um, yeah, uh, we also uh, have templating support. Uh, I think we added that quite early uh, when we started working together with Collabra there. Uh, so you can be, each user can basically have their own templates uh, and then create files based based from that ones. Um, one more recent feature we worked on together is uh, uploading custom fonts, uh, which is kind of a very often requested enterprise use case where um, yeah, companies are used to their fonts for their branding, uh, and they of course want to make their documents look exactly as they would like on their uh, existing office solutions on uh, on the desktop. Uh, so that was quite quite, yeah, quite a highly requested feature, and thanks to the 
yeah, nice collaboration uh, that went quite well. And we basically now have a way that uh, Collabra can fetch fonts from the next cloud server. Uh, so the admin has a, a nice interface to configure that. Uh, and then those fonts will just work out of the box. Um, one more thing that we just recently added is the option to, like from within the Collabra online document, jump out to your desktop application. Could be like a Collabra Office or LibreOffice or whatever other uh, solution you might prefer there. Um, so you can see the small button on top there. That's basically the way to open the local editor will then ask you if you want to continue editing, because if you um, move to the desktop application, of course, you will lose the ability to collaborate there. Um, and then like with the Nextcloud desktop client installed, it will basically just launch the default application there. And yeah, we're also working on uh, making that possible in the other direction currently, uh, so that you could in, in the future also jump from LibreOffice or CollaborOffice to uh, online editing session. All right, um, that was all from my side. Thanks for inviting us and thanks again for the nice collaboration, uh, everyone from the Collabra team. Yeah, if you have any questions, uh, I'll still be around a bit. And yeah, thanks. Yeah.